Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Central Hampshire Veterans Services. My name is Steve Connor, for who have not watched the show or did not know. Um, I'm the director. Our office is, our main office is in Northampton, but we have site a lot offices in most every other town. Um, and we show up and to talk to you about anything veterans. Uh, currently, well, we've just added a new town to our district. So now we can say we're Pelham, Amherst, Hadley, Northampton, Williamsburg, Goshen, Cummington, Chesterfield, Worthington, Chester, Middlefield, and Huntington is our newest town. Um, those are the communities that we serve. And if you live in one of those communities and you have an issue with veterans, uh, about veterans, you are a veteran or you're the family member of a veteran, and you have questions about benefits, tax issues, anything along that line, please contact our office. Our direct phone number is 413-587-1299, or you can email us at vetadmin, V-E-T-A-D-M-I-N, at northamptonma.gov. If you know a veteran who may be homeless, we have services for that. You have a veteran who is feeling down and out, we have services for that. We connect very well with the VA hospital, with the vet center in um, Springfield, actually West Springfield. So we're, we're kind of like anything veteran oriented. You have questions, you have a need, please contact us. That's what we're paid for, that's what we do, and we're really glad to be able to do it. We have a very competent staff, um, one who won't come on camera with me, um, but um, so please feel free to get in touch with us about anything regarding veterans issues, and there's many of them. Um, so we are close to Memorial Day, so that's part of our show. We're going to discuss Memorial Day, but before we discuss Memorial Day, I have a special guest with us um, who is going to help talk about something the week after. So many of you have watched my show, um, have seen Jerry Clark come on to the show. He has come on and talked about our attempt um, to do something that was done 11 years ago, almost 12 years ago now, maybe 11, um, where the Veterans Council of Northampton um, raised money and took a group of World War II and Korean War veterans with their spouses or caregivers, and they went to Washington, D.C. for four ni three nights, four days, and they traveled to all their monuments. They went to Arlington Cemetery. Um, Jerry and Tom Pease um, decided last, oh, well, it's actually been a, a few years. They were planning to do the same kind of trip, but this time for Vietnam War veterans. Uh, everything was moving along, and then, of course, just like everybody else, COVID-19 hit, and it devastated that. Um, that plan and all fundraising ended and we put it on hold. Uh, we've been trying to revive it. Um, just last year, Jerry and Tom were on and Tom was on actually just uh, a couple episodes ago, um, still talking about that trip, something we're still really trying to do. But again, this time we got sidetracked by a very sad event, the passing of Jerry Clark. Um, Jerry was a huge member of the Northampton veteran community, being a combat Vietnam veteran. He also was the veteran service officer, like I am for Central Hampshire. He was doing for the town of Hatfield, and he loved doing the work. Um, he would do a lot of the trainings and events. He'd pay out of his own pocket to be able to go to these things because he looked at the other group of BSOs, like I have with me here today, as his family. We all were in the cause to try to improve the lives of veterans and their families. And so, uh, unexpectedly, Jerry Clark uh, passed away of pneumonia um, the end of November of 2022. And we've been scrambling ever since. Um, but we figured we're going to use our, our good friend um, to help us kick off this trip one more time. Uh, the trip is still being looked at for this coming fall, uh, whether it happens on Veterans Day or somewhere in that area. Um, that's what we're hoping for. But to kick off the fundraising this time, we are 
um, working um, with fellow VSOs, the Western Mass Veteran Service Officers Association, which was Jerry's family, uh, along with the Veterans Council, are working to present a, a, a basically a pub crawl. It's going to be an event where, and well, the title is, and uh, hopefully it'll appear on your screen soon, um, the Clarkie Pub Crawl. And it is, well, I, I'll stop talking about it because I've been very busy and I've had a little bit of an illness, so I've been out of the loop a little bit. One of the real movers and shakers to help this happen is a good friend of mine, Stephanie Shaw, who is a member of the Western Mass Veteran Service Officers Association. She's actually president currently. Um, she's also the director of veteran services for the city of Chicopee. So she has taken her energy and her skill and has worked with the Veterans Council of Northampton, um, Rebecca from my office, uh, and Dan from my office to make this happen, the Clarky Pub Crawl. Um, so, Steph, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Indeed, indeed. So give us the, the, the initial information right now about what... The need to know stuff. It's Saturday, June 3rd. Starts at noon at the Florence VFW post 8006. Uh, there's many ways to engage with the event to contribute to the fundraiser. There are seats on the bus. A ticket for that is $50. It comes with a commemorative t-shirt. And the bus is going to take us to eight of Clarkie's favorite watering holes. Um, a lot of us are, are using the phrase that we've all had a beer with Jerry and now we're gonna have a beer for him. There you go. And there so go. This, yeah. this effort's just really wonderful. It's been fantastic actually getting to know the community that loved him. Um, every time we walk into one of his little stops, we get a little side-eyed glance, myself and Rebecca. Uh, we're not the typical demographic that would attend the Elks and the Polish Club and, and the other locations we're stopping. But as soon as we show him the flyer and we, show, we explain what we're doing and why, there's waterworks, there's smiles, a lot of storytelling. Um, everyone's really, really excited to be a part of it. Yeah. It's going to be a moving day for sure. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry was just, he was loved by so many people. He was, he was such a good guy. He was just always happy. Yeah. He was always level-headed, um, passionate in the best of ways. He was just a I know, I don't know why he hung out with me, you know. We all, all ask that ourselves that, Steve. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so and if, you know, if, you know, riding on a bus and, and stopping at six or seven bars isn't really your thing, there's an after party. And so for $20 right. admission into the after party, you get one of the commemorative t-shirts with the logo on it. And we will have food and raffles and hopefully some games and just some, a lot of walks down memory lane. Yeah. And yeah. right now, um, the back of the t-shirt is a list of individuals, organizations, and businesses that are contributing to the program. And the funds raised from that were able to cover the cost of the actual t-shirt purchase, which was wonderful. Right. And we're almost to the point where we're going to break even on the bus. So we still have about 20 seats left on that okay. bus. And that's all profit at this point. All the raffles will be profit, and all of those proceeds are going to go to this initiative with the Veterans Council to take those Vietnam veterans on not just a one-day trip, but a several-day trip to take the time and really embrace those museums. Yeah, one of the reasons we really like the concept of the trip that the Veterans Council of Northampton does is, it, although I am and I've supported and limited participation in honor flights where they fly yeah. veterans down to DC and bring them back that night. Mm -hmm. That's a really, really long day. And for everyone. it's awesome for the veteran. They really always will remember it. But the one thing I remember because we stayed open one time late till 2 a.m. So when they came back in to get their cars and find their way home, they were exhausted. Mm -hmm. And this trip is, yeah, it takes more money to do it. Um, and that's why we have to go out and do serious fundraising. But it, it's just, it's an experience that is not just, it's not changing your whole life, you know, that week. That you go, you go and have this experience, but you come back and you're not completely wiped out. So that's yeah. what makes it a really nice trip. Absolutely. So, well, that's awesome. So can you tell us some of the places that um, were, I bought my ticket, so I'm going. You so, are, you're on the bus. Yeah. So uh, where am I going? We are going to stop at, and I apologize for, for probably not remembering the order correctly, yeah. um, but we're going to load up at the, the VFW. We're going to go on to, I believe it's the Polish American Citizens Club in Hatfield. Yep, yep. To the American Legion in Hatfield. 
Okay. And there was a stop that he used to go to. It's under a new name and under new management. It's Mill River Tavern. Um, it but used to be uh, B&B. Yes. Or the Double B's. Double that was B's, the two yes. names I knew him under. And, uh, but the, the management there is very happy to have us just because it's his old stomping grounds. Right, so right. So we'll, we'll, we'll hit those three places in Hatfield. We'll come back into the Florence Northampton area. We're going to hit. So that, that bus ride in Hatfield is going to be, all right, we're going to cross over the Mill River, start there. Then we come back over that river, go to the tavern, and then you go right down in the very next place, the, almost the next building you see is the American Legion. So that bus will be going, er, er, er. We that'd may just great. walk yeah, well, if we get unruly um, <laughs> and save some gas. That's okay, too. There you go. Um, yeah, then we'll come back into, into the bigger part of the city, and there's another American Legion in Northampton that we're going to be stopping at. We also, I know we're going to, we were supposed to finish at the, the bus was supposed to bring us back to the VFW. Right. And we had to change our minds uh, right. because we couldn't leave out JJ's. Right. They, right. everyone there loves Jerry, knows Jerry, and it's yeah. close enough. So the bus is going to drop us off at JJ's. We'll have our last cocktail on the road. Right. And then we'll walk over to the VFW where the right. after party is. Um, a lot of organizations are contributing. There'll be refreshments at every stop. We're obviously promoting fun, but sobriety. Right. We don't want anyone doing this on an empty stomach. We don't right. want anyone driving, hence the bus and the right. snacks. And then afterwards, we'll have a lot of great raffles. Um, a lot of people are coming out of the woodworks to contribute. Family, friends, friends of friends. Right. Um, and it's such a good cause. It touches a lot of people, generations of Vietnam veteran families. If I'm remembering correctly on the route, there's also Fitzwillies is one. Fitzwillies is one, yes. Yeah. And The Office. Oh, my gosh, yes. yes. So, yeah. All so of I them. I think that's all that are in the thing. But I was then just we looking end... at the list in the route this morning, and I... Yeah. It's blurry. It's a lot. It's a lot to remember. <laughs> and plus, you're not from here. I grew up in this town, yeah. so I know all these places. It's so. been a lot of fun stopping and getting to know the places, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will tell you, the the warmest reception was when we went to the office. Uh huh. And yeah. they there was the most tears shed that day, and they saw the flyer with the yeah. you know our AI Clarky on it. Yeah. Um, there were tears and smiles, and they were the first ones to be like, what else can we do? Raffles and participants and put up stuff, and they were just, they were also the first ones to give us the biggest side eye when we walked right. in until they knew why we were there, so. Yeah, yeah, if you're not a regular there, they're all like, what's they noticed. this person doing? <laughs> yeah, that logo is pretty incredible. Um, Dan made that, right? Dan, yeah. Yeah, so um, people who have watched the show, Dan Nye, who is our new assistant VSO, uh, he's been on one of the shows. Um, he is actually um, Jerry's nephew. Great nephew. Great nephew. Great nephew, yeah. Um, and so he's got a real connection with Jerry, and he did the most fabulous logo for this event. Um, it, it's actually a picture of Jerry. So and, I got to uh, tell you, though, we've, we've kind of modified it a little bit. Um, okay. We want to be able to carry Jerry's name longer than just a pub crawl. So the logo now reflects Clarkie's army. Oh, and okay. so that's what we're going to call ourselves, and we're going to come up with other ways to honor him and support other local veteran programs right. um, through WMVSOA, through the council, through other really just good, heartfelt initiatives that we think he would have supported. Right. So we'll oh, be known yeah. as Clarkie's Army. And All right. We'll clarify and we'll verify and clarify we'll just and verify. Keep just, raising a Budweiser to him. Just got to remember, I was in the Navy, but that's all right. We can. I'll do Clarkie's Army. You got to do Clarkie's Army. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so folks, if you are at all interested, call our office. We do have seats on the bus left. We will have shirts to purchase. We have the after party that will be going on. Uh, if you just want to be in one place, um, it'll be at the VFW. He was a longtime member. Mm -hmm. um, are we going to the Elks as well, right? Of course, we could not. Yeah, we could not right. not go there. He was a longtime member of the Elks. I've as well. heard so many so, so many stories of his visits at the Elks. Yeah, so you're going to be zigzagging Hatfield and Northampton, but it's going to be a great time. Uh, again, if you are interested, contact our office. Um, all of us know about it. We can tell you more information if you have more questions, and we can sell you a ticket. And uh, I personally want to thank you so much for lending your skills and your abilities to this cause. I know it's for the Veterans Council of Northampton, um, and you're awfully busy. You've got a lot of work on your own, but this has been very helpful, and I think it's going to be a great success. Thanks to oh. you. Well, and you're your very office. welcome. Jerry's someone that deserves to be honored and remembered. Yes, he definitely does. Um, I think that covers everything. Stephanie, thank you very much for being on the show. And um, 
Just give me a minute to gather my information for Memorial Day and I'll be right back. Thanks, everyone. All right. There we go. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for staying tuned to the show. Um, I wanted to take the rest of the show and just uh, briefly go over. We have Memorial Day coming up. Um, and I've been doing Memorial Day ceremonies. I think this must be my 19th one or maybe my 20th one. I'm not sure. Um, I, through the process, have learned a lot um, about doing these, the meaning of them, um, and the, namely the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day. Um, and all of that stuff is really important. If we truly want to honor the uh, men and women who have served this country in the armed forces, um, then we need to do it properly and respectfully. And, and that's been my goal ever since I've taken on this job. Uh, as a young child, my father used to wake me up early. I wanted to go. He'd wake me up early on Memorial Day and it'd be like before 6 a.m. We'd be leaving the house. Uh, he'd gather with others and then they would proceed to all the different cemeteries in the city of Northampton. And they would lay a wreath and they'd do a small gun salute at every one of the cemeteries. Then they would have a parade, a uh, procession that would go from um, Trinity Row into the center of Florence. Um, and there would be a ceremony that would follow. That has happened 155 times consecutively on Memorial Day. It's a, it's a record that our, our city of Northampton, village of Florence, hold very dear. Um, then, back then, we would go down to uh, Northampton and they would have another parade that would go, I think, from Pulaski Park to the Bridge Street Cemetery. Um, both of the one in Florence, Park Street and Bridge Street, are the Civil War um, cemeteries, or many those that passed, that served in the Civil War, are uh, interred in those two cemeteries, that, hence the reason they do it. Um, so, and it was always a very respectful event, and that's the way I was raised. I went to them many, many, many times in my young life, and uh, now I'm responsible for those, along with the Veterans Council of Northampton, and um, in many other communities as well now in our district. As a matter of fact, um, I usually don't get to the beginning of the parade here in Florence um, because I'm just ending the ceremonies in Amherst and um, getting in my car and heading back through and over the bridge to get to the uh, ceremony in Florence. But they're all wonderful, respectful events, and I wanted to make sure everybody knew about them. What I can tell you is district-wide, um, the town of Chesterfield, Goshen, and Cummington have, just like I was talking about when I, when I was a kid, they, they went to all the cemeteries in Northampton. Well, the um, Cummington American Legion go to the cemeteries in those communities, and they lay a wreath and do a gun salute at all of those um, cemeteries. Uh, so that will be happening on the morning of Memorial Day. Um, Williamsburg. Williamsburg every year has a parade followed by a ceremony at the War Memorial. That will be beginning at 1 o'clock and ending uh, at the War Memorial and after the ceremony. That's always a wonderful event, um, especially if it's been chilly in the morning. By the time 1 o'clock comes out, it's nice and sunny there, so I always really enjoy making it to that one. Um, as I stated, uh, well, let me back up a little bit, back to the day Sunday. So on Sunday, the day before Memorial Day, the Leeds Civic Association, they will have their ceremony um, at their war monument um, that is across the street from Leeds uh, Elementary School. And that's organized by the Leeds Civic Association along with the Veterans Council of Northampton. And we will have a nice ceremony up there um, to honor our veterans. Sunday as well at two o'clock, there is a parade that happens in Hadley. That one begins in front of the American Legion right there on Route 9. It ought to be interesting this year with the construction. 
Um, but that parade starts right there um, on Route 9, the American Legion, and it goes um, west towards the Coolidge Bridge, um, turning on to West Street. Um, yeah, West Street, um, into the common there, where it'll end, and there will be a salute to the veterans um, at the uh, West Common. Also, earlier in the day, um, the American Legion as well goes to the cemeteries in Hadley and will do a wreath laying and gun salute ceremony at all of their cemeteries. So that, that's on Sunday. Now we go back to Monday. Monday morning at 9.30, there will be a parade in, North Am in, in Amherst, and it will be going from the North um, Common in front of Town Hall. We will gather, we will proceed um, down North Pleasant Street onto East Pleasant Street. We take a right onto Triangle Street, if that's correct, I'm almost positive, to the War Memorial Pool Grounds that are in front of the high school. Um, so there is the War Memorial Pool on the other side of the pool house. There's beautiful grounds there uh, and the War Memorial to Amherst veterans. At that ceremony, we will be giving out the Medal of Liberty um, to the nephew of a World War II veteran who was killed um, in, I don't believe it was the South Pacific, I think it was Europe. Um, and um, the Medal of Liberty will be given to his nephew. The, the state of Massachusetts has two medals that they now um, produce and we look for families to get them to. It's for the families. Um, and that's the Medal of Liberty, which is for those family members of, of a veteran or a service member who was killed in action. The second medal they just came out with is the Medal of Fidelity, and that is for family members, surviving family members of a veteran who died from a service-connected injury or illness um, that caused their death. It can happen when they are 70 years old, it could happen when they're 30 years old, but if they died from something due to service, the state of Massachusetts has the Medal of Fidelity. Um, we are not giving any of those this Memorial Day, but it is on our list. We will be doing those soon. Um, but in Amherst, we have a Medal of Liberty. In Williamsburg, I told you that the Williamsburg Parade is happening at one. We are having two families get the Medal of Liberty. Uh, I don't have Dan here with me to make sure I'm doing this correctly, but I'm almost positive I got it right. And in Florence, we will be providing three families with the Medal of Liberty for their uh, fallen relatives. So it, it's, it's a very appropriate thing to give on Memorial Day. Um, and we're blessed to have Dan with us who can do all the research, find the folks, we can contact them and find out if they're interested. And we were able to find three families this, um, this Memorial Day to give those to. We found one in Amherst. Um, we do have a Medal of Fidelity that we will be doing in Amherst as well and in Northampton uh, at a later date. Um, I'm trying to think. So those are the ceremonies that we know that are happening in both um, all the towns in our community. Oh, the town of Chester. I may not have mentioned that. The town of Chester is having their parade that begins at 10 a.m. Uh, it will end right by town hall where there will be a ceremony. Um, and I think I covered everyone. But just, just remember, if you got time on Memorial Day, please try to go to some of these events honoring our fallen. Um, you know, people go and they fight for our country and some don't come home. And it really is on us to remember them, to remember who did that, what families were, you know, not made whole any longer because of the death somebody killed in action or uh, those that died later on from a service-connected disability. Um, it's important to honor these people and honor their service. So if you have time, please come out to one of those events that I talked about and show your support uh, for both the, those that served, but to their families that they've left behind. 
Um, the other thing I would say, if you have an opportunity, come to those things. The other thing you can do is um, they now have a thing nationwide that if you can't do anything else, at 3 p.m. on Memorial Day, they're asking for the entire country to have a moment of silence. So at 3 p.m., if that's all you can do to honor, we would be thankful for that as well. Uh, that's being um, promulgated and supported and coordinated by the Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. So if you can't make any of the other things, please, please, please try to adhere to a three o'clock moment of silence uh, this coming Memorial Day. That's it for today's show. Um, thank you for watching. I will have one next month. Um, there's plenty of topics. There's all kinds of changes and um, goings on in the uh, veteran community and with the VA nationally. And I hope to catch you all up with that happening next month. Again, thank you very much for watching and have a great Memorial Day weekend and make yourself seen and support those that served our country. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.